You guys, um, much to my like exceeding delight um, in teaching this class, um, you know, they have to do debates and they have to do debates about things in the food ethics class that they don't exactly feel strongly about. In fact, often they feel the opposite. Um, but to my delight, Daniel wrote a really beautiful ballad about the joys and the pleasures of confined and concentrated animal feeding operations. It touched my heart, and he would like to perform that for everybody today. I thought my grade was writing on this performance. Okay, well in that case, yes, I want to perform it. It's better than William Hunt. Wondering how to feed your children through the next 18 years, maybe 22 years. Ah, if they don't go to college, struggling just to pay the rent and bills, and yet it seems you never have enough. Yeah, you'll just have to manage everything at the grocery store. The prices go up more and more. Then you find you're running low, and you know that's a problem. That's the reason that they have the thing we know that's called K-Flows. A solution to your needs, yeah, it's a way you can solve them. Concentrated animal feeding operations, they're really not that bad. Just take a look and see, feeding millions just like you at a price that's affordable too. Well, let me tell you a little more about cheap prices at your store. The amount of land it takes to feed a hundred cows would make you Question what's the point? They just don't need that space. But put them in a pen, the space they take it goes way down. And so does the cost of meat, buck twenty a pound. Not to mention milk and eggs with K-Flow's prices go down the drains. And they're cheap enough to eat all day if we want them. Buy some chicken stayed so low, you can buy so much to fill your door. A your rigid air machine, yeah you know what I mean. Concentrated animal feeding operations Oh well, they're really not that bad Just take a look and see Keeping prices at a low They help a lot more than you know Let me tell you about your friends That keep us kept afloat It's all over <laughs> Farmer Joe and Cole, they lost their yield some years ago well, they really had no clue of how they would survive. But Kipos came to help, they gave them product, feed and dealt with environmental stuff, foods, and changed all of their lives to maintain the status quo, to keep up with the demands we know. Well, the keep is a way to go. Yeah, well, it's a no-brainer. Keeping track of stock that are not locked, you know it's stressful and hard. Well, there's a better way, just put them in a retainer. Concentrated animal feeding operations. They're really not that bad. Just take a look and see. Take a shopping trip today. And look at food another way. Look at what's good for you and me and our community. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. Look at what's good for you and me and our community. That's it. <laughs>